From strange looking lights to mysterious cloud formations to unexplainable sightings, I am introducing you to part two of mysterious events in the sky. There's a lot of unknown information about our atmosphere and what happens there. In this video, we will take a look at some of the most interesting events taking place in the sky that people have recorded on camera. At number one, we have this strange black ring that flies and hovers at a relatively low distance from the ground. The witness who recorded this video is a resident of a village in Kazakhstan. During the two minutes of the video, this ring slowly started to fade and eventually completely disappeared from the sky. Позвонили, нет, Леночки? Она выходит? Блин, прикольно. Ваши бляшки. Коля, вызови бабы. Дымится, смотрите, дядь Коль, да? Да. Scientists who looked at this video proposed a few versions of this strange phenomenon, including one that stated maybe a random space object entered the Earth's atmosphere. The same phenomenon was once recorded in England. A teenager who was able to record a video of the same strange black ring. She also took a picture of it. She says the ring was in the sky for three minutes. However, to this day, what this black ring is is still unexplained. An abnormal event happened in the sky above Jerusalem on October 1st, 2016. At first, witnesses heard a strange sound, describing it as the sound of the wind blowing through a pipe. Then they saw the clouds gathering together in a perfect circle. And all of this occurred during a big religious holiday. In my previous compilation, part one, I showed a video of a parallel world that appeared in the sky above China. Here is a more detailed video of this same phenomenon that occurred in the Guangzhou province of China. A lot of people continue to make guesses what this could be. Some people think it's a mirage, others that it's a truly parallel world. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. You have probably all heard of the strange sounds that are happening all around the world. We have heard them in 2014 and 2015. I gathered for you videos from 2016. A lot of people think that this is a prediction of the world's end. These sounds were recorded in Europe, America, and Asia. Some religious people believe that it is a sign of Jesus coming down to earth. Sometimes the sounds are like roars, others report them as being musical.
NASA claims that the Earth emits natural radiation waves, and this is where those sounds come from, that sound to us like roars or music. These radiation waves are natural even though we can't see them. They are all around us and are very normal. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. Everybody, it's Steve Olson. It is May 5th, 2017. How y'all doing? Um, taking a look at the, the Meteorscan.com and a, a, a letter that I got from one of my subscribers protecting the identity of this person. But basically, they wrote to me that it was alarming to them to, in, on the 4th that uh, there were more than 100, if that, it, they said to themselves if they had more than 100 meters per hour in deep trouble, and this is only 91 per the last hour so we were hitting this kind of threshold this person thought might have been a interesting thing then they go on to say the green fireballs that you see are the incoming meteors hitting the barium in the chemtrails the barium is being seeded throughout the planet into the atmosphere barium creates ion traps in the atmosphere they can then harvest the anti-protons and then are able to put them into their quantum computers at CERN that's the theory barium removes gases and have fireworks displays, they have barium to create the green and yellow effects. And then uh, we have some other photographs that were brought to us uh, in this case. So anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. Yes, that Matt Taylor brings you space. This Matt Taylor brings you sunrise. You saw the lovely sunrise earlier in Burnley. This is uh, just from the east coast of uh, North Yorkshire just a short while ago. Hi everybody. Well, I didn't quite get that video done now yesterday, did I? So here it is. It is now the 6th of May. I'm still looking through the stuff from yesterday. We're going to talk about blood moons here in a second. But this, I just wanted to isolate this one little shot from those that beginning sequence there. This, again, is a very clear view of this orb, this yellowish-orange orb with all the little holes in it. It's not the clearest image that we got, but it's been isolated. Okay. So what I want to talk a little bit about today is blood moons. This is from my friend Kelly. She's in Arizona. She has been looking at, and she gets a certain point on the horizon wherever the moon shows up that it always turns red. It's always on the horizon. And what's happening there is they're not able to hide it. They're not able to hide that the moon's actual color right now is a red or pink color from the iron oxide around it. And we've got several photographs of this um, you know, going on, right? Well, let me take this and carry this over to some of the other things that we've seen and that's a similar vein. A lot of people, this is a Dill Martin video from a couple uh, weeks ago, and I don't know where Dill is. Dill, could you just send me an email, olson.steven.v 
at gmail.com. Just let me know you're okay, buddy. Uh, but basically, they're calling this a double sunset, and this is the moon and a red moon here. So here's what I believe is happening, guys. When we see this double like moon like this or double sun, what you're really seeing oftentimes in the background is a red object, and in the front, you'll see a white object. In this case, I believe that they're projecting the moon as a hologram, and the real moon is red colored. That's what I think is happening here, guys. And that's why we get this effect when we hit the right exact place where the moon is you know, able to see its true light. This is what it looks like all the time, guys. And this is what I keep saying. If they did not have artificial lighting, if they did not have holograms, if they did not have any of that stuff, we would be seeing a red blood moon every night and we would be seeing a magenta sky during the day. And that's just, uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Something's developed on this uh, picture that we've seen. There's a couple of professional government trolls that are trying to say this is Antares or something like that. It's not. It's too close. And the reason you can see is that this is actually an object within our close solar system with this uh, line um, on it. That's what indicates a closer object. We've got this big orb going across. But notice the configuration of this um, system. Let's call it, I, I think it's a planet and moons. That's what I think it is. 